Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Manni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on solution and discussion on UPSC Engineering Service Examination in the subject Hidden Mass Transfer. And in this lecture, we will take questions from Convection Heat Transfer. The first question. A dimensionless quantity that connects the link between velocity flow field and temperature field is Nusselt number, Prandtl number, Reynolds number and Grassoff number. The correct answer is Prandtl number which is diffusivity of momentum divided by diffusivity of heat mu Cp by K which is also known as which is also equal to nu by alpha. So, the correct answer is Prandtl number. Next question. The characteristic length for computing grass of number in the case of horizontal cylinder is length of the cylinder, diameter of the cylinder, perimeter of the cylinder and radius of the cylinder. The correct answer is diameter of the cylinder. So, the definition for grass of number for horizontal cylinder gr equal to g beta tw minus t infinity d to the power 3 divided by nu square. So, the parameter here the characteristic length is here is diameter of the cylinder. Next question, for which of these configuration is a minimum temperature difference required for natural convection to set in fluid near a heated vertical plate, fluid near a heated vertical plate at 45 degree to the vertical, fluid over a heated horizontal plate, fluid near heated cylinder. The answer for fluid over horizontal plate the grass out number is maximum and for the nusselt number. So, minimum temperature difference is required for the horizontal plate. So, the answer is fluid over horizontal plate. Next question, the laminar flow is characterized, characterized by Reynolds number which is equal to critical value, less than the critical value, more than the critical value and zero critical value. The Reynolds number is defined as inertia force by viscous force which is U infinity L divided by nu for the uh, plate or u infinity d divided by nu for the cylindrical system. So, the Reynolds number the flow will be laminar for the critical when the flow when the Reynolds number is less than the critical value. The critical value for the internal flow is 2300 and for external flow is 5 lakh 5 into 10 power 5. So, the flow will be laminar flow when the Reynolds number is less than the critical value. Next question, in a, in a laminar developing flow through a pipe with a constant wall temperature, the magnitude of the pipe wall inner surface convective heat transfer coefficient shall be maximum at the middle length of the flow, beginning of the flow, end of the flow, none of the above. The answer is beginning of the flow, we will see how in the next slide. So, this is the for convective heat, heat transfer, convection heat transfer Q equal to HA into Tw minus Tm and this is how the temperature varies, the wall temperature and the mean temperature varies along the length of the along the length of the flow. So, in at the entrance delta Ti, so it is higher wall temperature remains constant, the mean temperature of the fluid is increasing. So, delta Ti is beginning, it is higher and it uh, decreases in the direction of the flow. Accordingly, if you look at the heat transfer coefficient, so initially the heat transfer coefficient higher that decreases and remains constant in the direction of the flow. So, the answer is at the beginning of the flow, the heat transfer, at the beginning of the flow, the convection heat transfer coefficient will be maximum. Next question, consider the following statement which regards to heat transfer. The temperature variation in lumped heat capacity analysis is exponential with the time. In situation involving simultaneous heat and mass transfer, the ratio of convective heat transfer to the convective mass transfer varies with the Lewis number Le as Le to the power 0 0.33. Which of the above statements are correct? Both 1 and 2, neither 1 nor 2, 1 only, 2 only. The answer is 1 only. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, this is the temperature variation in lumped heat capacity analysis with the exponential with the time. So, this is the temperature distribution T minus T infinity divided by T O minus T infinity is equal to exponential of 
minus HCAS by rho Vc into T. So, the temperature variation is exponential with the time. So, in the lumped parameter method, the statement is correct. The second statement, in situation involving simultaneous heat and mass transfer, the ratio of convective heat transfer to the convective mass transfer varies with the Lewis number. So, Le as Le to the power 0.33. So, the actual equation for simultaneous heat and mass transfer, the ratio H by K equal to rho C, rho Cp into Lewis number to the power 2 by 3, which is 0 0.67. So, this statement Le to the power 0 0.33 is not correct. So, the statement 1 is alone correct. The next question, for fluid with the Prandtl number greater than 1, momentum boundary layer thickness decreases rapidly compared to the thermal boundary layer thickness and uh, thermal boundary layer thickness, the bound, velocity momentum boundary layer thickness and the thermal boundary layer thickness increases with the, at the same rate. So, the momentum boundary layer thickness increases rapidly compared to the thermal boundary layer thickness, momentum boundary layer thickness and the thermal boundary layer thickness decrease at the same rate. So, this is the answer. The relative thickness of thermal and the velocity boundary layer depends on the Prandtl number. Delta T equal to delta, that is thermal boundary layer thickness equal to velocity boundary layer thickness when the Prandtl number equal to 1, for example, air and the gases. Delta T is much greater than delta. Thermal boundary layer thickness is much greater than velocity boundary layer thickness when the Prandtl number is very much lower than 1, like a liquid metal. The thermal boundary layer thickness is very much lower than velocity boundary layer thickness where Prandtl number is greater than, much greater than 1, like ethylene glycol and the engine oil. So, here the Prandtl number is greater than 1. Momentum boundary layer thickness, that is velocity boundary layer thickness delta, increases with the rapidly as compared to the thermal boundary layer thickness. For Prandtl number greater than 1, the velocity boundary layer thickness is more than increases with, the, with respect to the thermal boundary layer thickness. Option C is the correct answer. Next question, in a pipeline, laminar flow in fully developed region with a constant heat flux from the pipe wall, bulk mean temperature of the fluid and the pipe wall temperature increases in the flow direction. So, bulk mean temperature of fluid and the pipe wall temperature decreases in the flow direction and the bulk mean temperature of the fluid and remains constant but the pipe wall temperature increases in the direction of the flow. Pipe bulk mean temperature of the fluid increases, but the pipe wall temperature remains constant. So, for constant heat flux condition, so the temperature variation. So, this is the bulk mean temperature line and this is the wall temperature line. So, both actually this is the bulk mean temperature, this is the wall temperature. So, both are varying. The correct answer is the bulk mean temperature of the fluid and the pipe wall temperatures increases in the direction of the flow. So, for constant heat flux condition, so, the two temperatures are increasing from the entrance to the exit in the flow direction. Next question, a pipe of 10 centimeter diameter and 10 meter length is used for condensing steam on its outer surface. The average heat transfer coefficient h when the pipe is horizontal is n times the average heat transfer coefficient h when the pipe is vertical. The value of n equal to 2.44. 3.34, 4.43, The answer is 2.44. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, here we have the answer. So, the heat transfer coefficient for the horizontal, actually this is horizontal pipe ratio, heat transfer coefficient or horizontal pipe divided by heat transfer coefficient vertical pipe equal to 0 0.728 multiplied by k to the power 3 rho square g h of g divided by mu l d t v minus t s to the power 0.25. Similarly, for, for vertical uh, pipeline 0 0.943 multiplied by k cube rho square g h of g divided by mu l l into t v minus t s to the power 0.25. So, here everything is deleted. So, 0 0.728 divided by 0 0.943 equal to 0 0.772 and uh, here we have l by t to the power 0 0.25. So, h h by h v equal to 0 0.772 Substituting for L and D, 10 divided by 0.1 to the power 0 0.255 equal to 2.44. So, HH equal to 2.44 times of HV. So, N equal to 2.44. That is the answer to the problem. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. 
you can refer to the subject so refer to the book for your better preparation i upload the video lecture of all the subjects in the youtube channel you subscribe the channel use the videos for your better learning thank you for watching please post your comments on the comments box you can contact me for any clarification on the subject so we'll meet again with another video lecture on the convection heat transfer until then bye